Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to make a video today about the um, forecasting rain forecast available on the website of the Israel Meteorological Service. Its English acronym is the IMS. Um, I was planning on making this video about the Hebrew chart and then I saw that they actually have them in um, the website is translated into both English and Arabic and I have to say they've done a really good job um the quality of translations into english among israeli government institutions is quite variable but this is definitely on the better side it looks to me like they've manually uh, translated the forecast they're very readable in english um so it's a very useful website so i'm a big believer i make these videos um about public resources because if you live in israel uh your tax dollars are paying for the upkeep and maintenance of um, organizations like the um, IMS and for the uh, resources they make available to the public so you may as well know about them and use them so regarding rain forecasting in Israel the rainy season is you know a few months um, really tends to start getting rainy in December it's currently January so I'm checking the rain forecast because um, as uh, people following this YouTube channel know I make YouTube videos and uh, I generally want to avoid going out when it's too rainy both to protect my equipment and because it's going to be uh, somewhat unpleasant so there's three different rain maps available on the website now you can see forecasts on the map and you can have these manual forecasts but a lot of weather services also give you access to the raw models which are basically sort of one of the inputs they use to make forecasts from how, how, do, how do I know about this I've always been sort of interested in the weather and uh, I actually did an internship in Cork Airport in Ireland many, many years ago and spent a couple of days uh, working with the weather service or uh, observing the work of the weather service, I should say. So um, these are the rain forecasts and they've got three different models. One is COSMO, one is ECMWF, which stands for European Center for Medium Term Weather Forecast. And the third one is ICON. I'm just going to go into them to show you how to read them. You've also got measurements here. You can see radar is... Um, and you can see the uh, upper level observations for a tephogram as well, as well as surface observations. Um, <clears throat> so if you go into, you can see the current rain radar. Now it's currently 12.45. Um, and you can see the anticipated rainfall here as you move through the clock. Um, but these are the modeling outputs. Now you really have to kind of zoom in in order to really sort of make so i'm going to start with cosmo now the differences are there are three different models that's about as much as i know um they present the information a little bit differently but they usually yield looks to me anyway somewhat similar information you can see the output here so um the first thing to say is that they're the time they're issued in appears at the top of uh the model output so this is issued on uh, sunday the 2nd of january 2022 at zero zero hours Zulu so the Z stands for Zulu Zulu is um, also known as universal time coordinated or UTC and it's a uh, international means of referencing time so it's important to know you might think that is midnight in local time it's not mid it's midnight in Zulu so you can easily look up the Zulu offset this is going to change uh, once or twice a year there's sometimes little gaps between when clocks go back and forward and Zulu. Uh, so currently we are, Israel is on the current time as I'm making this video. I'm just going to refresh the tab here. It is 13.58 GMT plus 2. And you can actually Google supports the Zulu operator. So you can do current time Zulu or you can do current time UTC. And uh, you'll get the you'll get the Zulu time, which is the same thing as UTC. So um, we're currently two hours ahead of Zulu. So um, when you're reading this forecast, it's just important to know that this was actually issued at 2 a.m. local time. And uh, this is for plus six hours. So it's six hours from midnight, uh, six Zulu, but six Zulu is 8 a.m. So this is the forecast for. 8 a.m. in Israel local time. This is a forecast for 12 Zulu, which is 2 p.m. local time. This is 6 Zulu, which is 8 p.m. local time. And this is a 24 hour forecast, which is for zero hours Zulu, which is 2 a.m. local time on Monday morning. So uh, given that I'm making this video at about one o'clock um, in the afternoon here in Israel and local time, uh sorry two o'clock um the you know i i might be interested in so we're somewhere between these two charts so they're anticipating 
at um, between this is how it's going to look at 1200 hours and this is what the uh, rain is going to be at 1800 hours and this is what it's going to be two in the morning so uh, sort of early afternoon uh, early evening and night time now uh, what the colors represent is the rate of uh, precipitation accumulating over the course of six hours you can see here the chart says millimeters of precipitation per six hours and it's color coded the darker blues are uh, it's about three millimeters and then we get into the greens between three to 20 then the oranges reds and finally the kind of pink shades so what you can see on the map here is the green and the little dots of um, of uh, of yellow are going to be the areas of most precipitation I live in Jerusalem so it's like somewhere like here on the map so it does look like they're anticipating that the rain uh, showers are going to move in and accumulate a little bit or there's going to be cumulative rain here and it's gonna get a little bit heavier overnight. Then it's clearing. Um, so it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna be raining throughout the night. 800 hours, uh, sorry, 800 local. There's gonna be mo more significant rain and then the, uh, the weather system is gonna clear southward. And then they're anticipating at 2 a.m. tomorrow that it's gonna be basically no rain going on in Israel for the next couple of days. Uh, so that's basically how you can read these forecasts. If you go into the ECMWF it's the same thing it's again uh, millimeters of um, it says in Hebrew Kamot Mishkaim Chazuya Mitztaveret Lekol Shesh Sha'ot Millimeter so these are just the same same data essentially just three different models so uh, again this is just a you know free resource that the Israel Meteorological Society um, IMS puts out if you uh, want to get it in Hebrew you can just change uh, the language up at the top of the website here into Hebrew and uh, you can find basically the same uh, data as well if you go to um, a podcast in Cosmo and this is uh, the same it's actually the same thing completely even this part in English so hope that video was useful if you're looking to know when it's going to rain in uh, in Israel and how much it's going to rain uh, you can check these uh, freely available resources on the website of the IMS.